Navigate to cloud.elastic.co. Sign in or sign up. Create a deployment. Give it a name. This looks good. Deploy. Download your credentials. Don't hit continue. Hit this over here instead. It'll take you to the cloud console. Next, go to alpaca.markets. Sign in or sign up. Once you're approved, go over here and look for your API keys. If you don't have one, generate one. Open your favorite code editor. Create a file called ingest.py. First, we'll put in the library imports. Then we'll put in our global variables. Time to define some index mappings to tell Elastic the structure of the data we're sending in. Next, we'll need to parse the data coming out of Alpaca. We'll also need a function to check if our index is already created in Elasticsearch, and if not, create it. We'll also need a function to ingest data into Elastic. Main function. First, we connect to Elastic. Then we create our indices if they don't exist. Next, we need to connect to Alpaca. Then we do something a little bit weird with partial functions because that's the only way to pass arguments to callback functions. Then we subscribe to the stock symbol that we want to watch, start the stream, and run forever. Don't forget to run the main function. Now we go back to Alpaca. Paste in the API key. Secret key. Back to our cloud console. Copy the cloud ID. Paste. Those credentials we downloaded. Grab the password. Paste. Pip3 install the Alpaca API library. Pip3 install the Elasticsearch library. Now we're ready to run. Look at that data. Back to the cloud console. Open Kibana. Go to the dashboard tab. Create a new dashboard. Create a new visualization for the dashboard. Create a new data view for our two indices that we created earlier. One for quotes and one for trades. Grab the trade price, drop it into our console, turn it into a line graph, make the bounds of the graph fit the data. Eliminate any gaps in the line graph. Change the line graph to show the average. Save. Bam! We have our first visualization. Repeat several times. Look at that, a gorgeous dashboard. Set it to refresh every 10 seconds so we can see live data and watch our stocks go to the moon.